Welcome to the video. In this session, we want to demonstrate the correct use of embedded region constraint in the Abacus software. In our previous video, we explained the concept and theory of embedded region constraint in detail, and also we covered its advantage and disadvantage and applications. Incorrect definition and use of this constraint will lead to overestimated results. If you are interested in how to solve this issue, please watch the video till the end. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get new video updates. Embedded region constraint is widely used in simulation of fiber-reinforced composite materials at mesoscale. In this video, we simulate a glass-woven fabric-reinforced epoxy composite with plain weave architecture at mesoscale. Let's enter the Abacus software environment. As you can see, parts were already created. Properties were defined. Parts were assembled in their correct position. A general static step was also defined. For defining the embedded region constraint, you must enter the interaction module. Then select, Create Constraint Icon. At first, you must choose the embedded regions, which is the glass woven fabric in this example. Then, you must choose the host region, which is the epoxy cube. Click the OK button. Now the embedded region constraint is defined. As simple as it looks. However, there is a tiny tip that you must consider while using this technique. There is a volume redundancy in the matrix cube at those regions that woven fabric also exists. This redundancy causes extra stiffness and strength in the final results. To solve this issue, you must subtract the stiffness of the matrix part from the woven fabric part. For this problem, at first, you need to build the stiffness matrix of the woven fabric part. Woven fabric is made of four impregnated yarns. Impregnated yarns are transversely isotropic materials. Thus, their stiffness matrix are like this. This stiffness matrix can be computed using mechanical properties of glass fibers and epoxy matrix. For matrix part, we have epoxy resin, which is an isotropic material, and its stiffness matrix is like this. You can calculate the stiffness matrix of the epoxy resin using its mechanical properties. As a final step, you must subtract the stiffness matrix of the epoxy resin from the impregnated yarn. You must enter this modified stiffness matrix into Abacus software as mechanical property for impregnated glass yarns. Now you have to define periodic boundary condition and generate mesh on the parts. You can do this manually or use our recommended plugin to apply periodic boundary condition automatically. You can access this plugin at a very fair price. Please visit our website for more detail. You can also watch the plugin tutorial in our previous video. Now, everything is ready. Press the Submit button in the Job module. You can see the results in the Visualization module. Based on the comparison made, if you do not consider the volume redundancy and modify the property, the structure will be 7% stiffer. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please support our team with like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Don't forget to visit our site for more related products. Have a great time!